Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. We have three stories for you this week. The FAA NOTAMs go down, causing a nationwide ground stop. Not good. Alabama worker was killed uh, after being sucked into an engine. That's a sad story. And then a Delta flight that caught on fire just before takeoff. Let's get to it. The first story this week is the FAA taking a page from the Southwest book with their NOTAM system crashing, resulting in a nine hour ground stop. Uh, the system went down at 2028 Zulu and then the service didn't return until uh, 0700 Zulu the following day. That's not a good thing. The ground stop reportedly delayed 5,000 commercial flights, but did not endanger any of the flights that were already airborne. So you could still see airplanes that were flying up in the air. Uh, the cause of the NOTAM shutdown is unknown at the moment, but the FAA and the DOT did say that there was no indication of a cyber attack. Now, with that being said, after putting Southwest on blast and threatening investigation, I certainly hope that the DOT is now going to look in the mirror and do the same thing and investigate what happened because we want to know. Your second story this week is a sad one. A Piedmont airline worker was ingested into an Embraer 170 engine this week, uh, resulting in a fatality. Uh, the accident happened at the Montgomery Regional Airport in Alabama. Uh, the official said that the airplane was parked with the parking brake engaged when the worker was sucked into the engine. Uh, all the flights in and out of that airport were delayed and uh, resumed about six hours later. And your third story this week is a Delta flight which caught on fire. Uh, the flight from Orange County to Atlanta was positioning itself on the runway when the engine caught fire. Uh, the airplane was reported to have 172 passengers on board and uh, the pilots did what they do which is uh, shut down the engine and then the firing the fire was extinguished by the airport firefighters. Uh, the plane was then towed back to uh, the uh, the gate where the passengers were deplaned. Uh, thankfully, there was actually no injury, so that's a good thing. That's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>